Hello everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you for joining me back on my channel. As you may know, my name is Rob Lay. I've been living in this place for about four months now. And when I first came, it was, um, this small garden was full of um, mortar, basically the stuff that was left over from when they built the house. So, um, what I did was I removed all of the mortar, I removed all of the uh, rocks and everything. What I've done is I used that bucket. It has holes in the bottom. I used it to sift the soil that I got from the outside of the house. And so after I sifted the soil, I slowly began planting seeds. And everything that you see here today is seeds that I've planted from vegetables and fruit that I've bought from the grocery store. So if we come to this side, I want to show you first is what I have done what I in these what I do with these is I recycle them then I fill them up with water I cut the top off and then I put a onion as you can see and then I remove all of the uh, dead leaves and the dead roots and then I put it inside of the bottle so that the roots can regrow and new plants can come out of it. Out of each onion, maybe two or three new plants will come out of it. After, after they come out of it, what I do is I begin planting them. As you can see on this one, the onion is still in the ground and there's about two plants that came out of it. As you can see, they're growing nice and healthy. So those are the onions. What I have, what I've got here is more onions. Behind the onions, what I have is something called a water willow. A water willow is, it attracts a lot of butterflies. As we move over, this plant is called a mung bean and now we move over to the big guy this is a tomato that I planted from seed and as you can see here it has begun bearing fruit so this type of tomato is called nightshade as we move up a little bit further, there is more onions. As we come to this side, I planted some, some more water willow. And over here, we've got some more tomatoes that I've all planted from seed and other type of species. What I've got here is the same method. I recycled the plastic bottles. I filled it up with soil that I had here. And I planted some chili peppers or cayenne peppers. And they're going well. I've put holes in the bottom so that the water can escape. If you, if you don't have any holes on the bottom, it will get full of water and the plant may die. Here once again, there's more water willow. I really like butterflies, so this attracts a lot of butterflies. As you can see here, as we move further, there is more onions. This, this happens, this happened by chance. I haven't eaten corn in a while, but this is corn. And sometimes you never know when you 
take the soil from the outside you never know what type of seeds are in there so this kind of just happened by accident as we move up a little bit further so for the past four months that I've been here I really really take a lot of time to enjoy my garden plant as many as I can as I can uh, plant and just see what kind of really comes out of it and before there was a lot of watermelon watermelon grows really heavy here even though the soil is sandy soil but but as you can see I have I've added some compost compost didn't really break down properly as I as much as I wanted to but nevertheless it's still breaking down so I've kind of added it to my garden as you can see here if you can come come up a little bit closer I've added I've put some holes because this is called sandy soil and after it dries up it really hardens up so when I put the holes holes in there I want the earth to kind of breathe and the water to really um, penetrate it all the way to the bottom um, here it's maybe about 10 centimeters down it's not really that deep so a lot of the plants and um, the roots don't really go down here is my compost so I'm starting a new compost when I take on um, when some of the leaves die I cut them off and I kind of just put them here for now I'm going to use that for my next compost if we come a little bit closer over here I have uh, this is mung bean so I've added some on um, grains just to see what will happen with it and this is what came out of it this plant is called mung bean as we move up a little bit further over here I have this plant is called uh, cowpea cowpea is really good for your soil fertility and it's called cowpea because the cows really like to eat it you could use it as forage you could use it as food for your cows this long one here is called a this is cantaloupes it's really spreading out once again this came by accident I never eaten any honeydew or cantaloupe as long as I've been here but this kind of just grew by accident and I really like it it's growing well so I want to show you what I use sometimes the plant gets attacked by small little bugs I use this app called picture this and then I take a picture of the plant and what I do is I take a picture of the plant like so once I take a picture of the plant it identifies what type of plant it is so this is tomato a species of nightshades and then it tells me whether or not the plant is healthy it says the plant is okay but can be better how to take care of it what type of conditions it really grows in like sunlight it needs full sun even though I don't get really full sun because of the wall but I do get indirect sunlight it tells me and then I can also save it into my garden as you can see in my garden I have tomato pepper cantaloupe American water willow cowpea so some of the plants are attacked by small little bugs for those bugs 
it kind of, I just Google it. When I Google it, it tells me what to use to fight it off. And I like to use a natural uh, insecticide. So this is a little bit of oil, vegetable oil, a little bit of dish soap and water. And then I spray it on top of it. So that's my little garden that I've used in the principles of permaculture. I've added compost to it. That's how my little garden grows. It doesn't need a lot of work, but just a little bit here and there. I like to water it early in the morning and then later on at night. So that's how basically I have my garden. If you follow my channel, you could see that I've cleaned up the soil. As I use a homemade soil sifter. After I cleaned up the soil, I slowly began planting seeds to see what grows. And fortunately, in this sandy soil, really healthy plants growing out of it. Some of them on purpose that I've planted and some of them by accident. So that's basically it. I wanted to show you my garden today and what I've been up to. I want to thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.